viento del este y niebla gris anuncia que viene lo que ha de venir. Hola, estamos esta tarde con Colin Farrell, que nos va a presentar su última película, Saving Mr. Banks. Hola, estamos Colin. Estamos means we're, we're here, doesn't it? We are here. Oh, genius. I'm well, thank you. Muy bien. ¿Y Muy usted? Bien. Yo estoy bien también, gracias. So tell Hello. me a little bit um, how, how did it happen for you? How they, did they offer you the project? I got the script and um, with a n accompanying note from my agent saying you should probably read this pretty quick, it's very good and um, it's all moving very fast and, and I read it and it was an offer and I read it about two o'clock in the morning one night and emailed my agent straight away saying whatever I need to do to be in it, yeah, I'm, I'm there. Were you aware of this whole thing before they offer you? No, not at all. The backstory of, of the process of bringing the Mary Poppins books to the screen, no, and I knew nothing about Walt Disney's personal life and, and, and none of it. I think, I think the story about the making of this is one that the people in the hallowed halls of Disney Studios are well aware of, but outside of that, I don't think it's mm -hmm. common knowledge. She seemed to be a, a tough cookie. You think it was due to the relationship that she had with, with her father? Um, we, I think, you know, yeah, all of us are kind of, you know, an amalgamation of what we see growing up and what we experience and what level of, of love or loathing or interest or disinterest we experience from our parents and our siblings and our school environment, all those kind of things. So, so yeah, the relationship between a, a, a father and his daughter, as is the case in this film, is an incredibly significant relationship that, that seems to probably stay with a person for the rest of their lives and certainly the loss that she experienced at the age of seven and, and the relationship and the love between her and her father up until that point really formed who she was as a woman and also who she was as a, as a creative being. Mm -hmm. So uh, how, do you, how do you deal with, if you have any kind, uh, any kind of traumatic experiences as a, as a child, how do you uh, deal with that? I've never had a traumatic experience <laughs> in my life. How do I deal with it as a child? Because I still am in many ways. Um, how do I deal with it? I don't know. How do you deal with it as a child? As a child, how do you deal with trauma? As a child? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can shut down or you, know, you create a character that helps you to survive. And, you know. You try things and you see what the consequences of those things are, and then if they work and the consequences are pleasing, you continue those behaviors, et cetera, et cetera. You know. And you think she changed? I'm not saying I'm not advising that, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that's I'm not saying that's a great thing to do. It is a healthy way of being. I'm just saying that sometimes what happens. You think she changed? Uh, it was definitely a good thing for her to do this movie, but after a while, they um, requested her to do the rights for the musical, and she was very hesitant yeah, yeah, yeah. about giving. Uh, I'm glad she got to keep her house. Mm -hmm. I'm glad she got to keep her house. If that's what came from, and I don't know for a fact that it is, but I'd imagine that's what came from her giving over the rights to, personally, I mean, what came for the world and children and parents all over the world is the Mary Poppins film, which has stood the test of time and will continue to. But if P.L. Travers got to keep the house that she had called her home and that she had built, uh, I'm glad for that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you that so much, Colin. Thank you. Muchas gracias. You. De nada. <laughs> Mary Poppins existió de verdad. De modo que no vino a salvar a los niños, sino a su padre. Es su padre. No sabe lo que significa para mí. No la decepcionaré. Le prometo que cada vez que una persona entre en un cine, disfrutará. ¿Es que no quiere terminar la historia?